Hey everybody, it's Anthony, and welcome back to Sunrider Liberation Day. Yeah, well, last we left off, it, well, um, pirates happened, and uh, so did a, uh, well, a mass accelerator around. Somehow, I doubt that. That's never gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, she's just kind of losing her mind at this point. I mean, even more than she already has been. She's afraid, and now she's split. <laughs> you are a persistent little bugger. That'll give you that. Oh god, it wasn't her final form. Uh, blue? Oh, okay. Oh, uh. Is it now? Oh shit, here we go. In this case, it's just it's a giant hammer that you bring down on the heads of your foes, because um, that seems to be how it's lining up here. I'm wondering here. It. Hmm. Unless I'm forgetting things, perhaps getting my uh, facts mixed up here. I recall Sola saying something about becoming the Shar of Raivia, resulting in the. Or was it the act? Of, hmm. I recall something about the death of the Shar. I don't remember exactly. I don't want to say something that's completely incorrect. That happened to the time though. But my train of thought here is that maybe by maybe death was a little more a little less literal and perhaps slightly more the mind of the individual being overtaken by something else. I, I don't know, I'm throwing stones here and they're not skipping, they're just kind of sinking. <clears throat> That was even bigger skin than before. That last one was... That last one's a bit cold. Well, that's assuming that Beyond Death does not await total darkness, you know, the endless sleep of oblivion. Um, hmm. No lollies, but what? <laughs> okay, I like it. So she's looking into the face of death and laughing her ass off. Well, that's one way to go. <laughs> kind of a ghost rider justice, don't you think? <laughs> this just reminds me of the hero by Amana Marth. Okay. Ooh. 
Yeah, I knew they weren't going to let me have any sort of real uh, satisfaction from her death. That's extraordinarily depressing. Well, job's a good one. Go to work, everyone. Secure the Arcadius unit. Prepare the hangar for our prisoner. Okay, all everyone wants, sure. Blow that shit up. I'm just saying. Yes, scuttle it. You are not the Z Lee. You don't deserve to have this kind of technology. No one does. I like you. I hope I don't have to kill you. <clears throat> oh, whoops. Of course. Yep. <sighs> Something would prevent that shit from going down, wouldn't it? Or have they? Dun 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 What are tweaks? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, we would just make targets of ourselves, wouldn't we? <coughs> I'm very sorry about this. I really am. That's a bit of a melodramatic way of putting it, but uh, okay. Something extremely foolish. Nodding incessantly here. Can't see it, but I am. <laughs> Um, I like the scene here and all, but, and the music is kind of cool too. Picturesque. And now I have to do work. I hate editing. Cold water splashed against Ikari, soaking away the tension from the battle. A shower after a victory was exactly what she needed. She couldn't help but sigh in relief. The door slid open, and another person entered the shower room. Um, okay then. The fuck is your problem? And why are you making a big deal of it? <laughs> Mostly in that the bits that counted didn't fall apart or <sighs> get consumed by plasma fires or whatever other bullshit. The fuck is your problem? Chris could grab the soap bar from Ikari's hand. The war is not over yet. Just kind of placing all of your eggs in one basket here, hoping that the wicker at the bottom doesn't fall off. Yeah, 
Yeah. A lot of people say that, you know, when wars break out. Yeah. Usually it takes extraordinary bloodshed before people are willing to talk. I'm using really loosely. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's very big of you to concede that. Oh. <laughs> she didn't look very happy with us at all. Kriska took Akari's hand and shook it over vigorously. And there we go. <laughs> okay, Claude. I'm just gonna mentally prepare myself for what's gonna happen here. What I'm fearing is gonna happen. Shields observed the entity he had known earlier as Venusaur Arcadius. Up close, he saw that she was built but a small female. Bleh, was but a small female. What the fuck? Hardly intimidating behind a f intimidating behind a force field of plexiglass. So what is this thing? I may have the utmost faith in your skills. うん。うん。あ、that does raise a few questions. You never told me you had a sister, Chigara. She did just She did just say artificially created. Meaning not biologically, at least in the traditional sense. <laughs> Any ideas about our origins? Oh, then it looks like the only thing left to do is to ask her personally. Yeah, she's really happy about this. Shields approached the cell and pressed the intercom. I'm Captain Shields. Welcome aboard the Sunrider. <laughs> Lynn. Alright. I want to spill your guts. All your secrets, everything. If not, I'm going to have to get nasty. No. You're now a prisoner of war under Article 7 of the Sarah Military Code. We will treat you fairly and respect your basic human rights to the extent required under the code. Now, uh, do you have a name, prisoner? Prototype. L7NN. Oh. That's hardly a name. Why don't I just call you Lynn? That's a part of Chikara's name. Are you really a door? Care to elaborate exactly? Well, could that be because I killed them all? Somehow, I'm hoping. I'm optimistic. And that's gonna go down in flames. Okay. Hmm. From what we've seen before, the prototypes seem capable of communicating with each other. Could it possibly be telepathy? Such powers cross in the realm of fantasy. Do I have to quote here that any reasonably advanced technology could be misconstrued as magic? In fact, I think Greg Bear has at least, I don't remember the name of it, a novel that 
was very much in the science kind of, I don't want to say fantasy realm, but very much based around the idea of science being in the realm of what we would almost see as magic. Although, to be honest, I think he's done that more than once, way more than once. They could lost technology be involved. So you can't hear your sisters now. You've been cut off. You must be scared. This is the first time that you've been disconnected. <laughs> if Chigar is one of your kind, why can't you hear her thoughts? <laughs> yeah. Suddenly no words, huh? Of course not. The prototypes must depend on their hive mind to function. Function at what level exactly? Without it, they're individually weak. Shields left the intercom. Claude and Chigar appeared at him curiously. Um... We'll watch her for now. I don't think she'll pull anything, but be careful just in case. As long as we don't run into another prototype, I don't think she has much power. And that doesn't mean anything. The size of the package isn't exactly what's important here. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if she starts talking again. Figure out what we can what we can learn from her. Well, at least you're managing, I guess. And on that note, um, although I'm glad to see Ava not dead, uh, on that note, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>